Today I'll be showing some games from my chest. So this chest here has been featured in Mail Time. I've actually gotten this recently. I've added games to it, so that's what's inside of it. It's now holding a good portion of my handhelds. It's not holding the Sega uh, Nomad, but uh, I'll talk about this later on. I still have a bunch of Sega products that uh, I'll get to uh, later on, because this is uh, games and such. So, I've been talking about a lot of such. Let's talk about some games. Not this particular, but something in there today. So, I want to talk about Nintendo products. Nintendo stuff. So, the first one I want to talk about, which I have uh, readily available, is Game Boy. I have the green Game Boy Color and an SP. These are not the original ones that I grew up with. This year, I got from some friend, he found, uh, someone was throwing this away, I guess they did, didn't have a charger for it, it came with Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory for Game Boy Advance, I still have that, so I got this for free, and then the Game Boy Color, I got this from thrift stores, I got this from a thrift shop, it's called Value Village, uh, they have them here on the west side of uh, Western Canada. Uh, they call them different, I think they're called Frenchies. They're called something different in many different places of the world. Uh, basically a Salvation Army, but I got that from there. Alright, let's talk about some games. I got some Game Boy Advance games, I'll save those for a later day. Let's just talk about the Game Boy and the Game Boy Color games today. Let's start off with the Game Boy Camera. This thing is awfully awesome. It has some fun little games on it, but it's a camera. So back in the day, this thing was a pretty interesting thing. This was probably the first thing people took selfies with, me included. I probably took my very first time of uh, taking a selfie with one of these because it just points right at you. For the late 90s, this was a pretty interesting gimmick. I still enjoy it. They're pretty cheap these days. If you want to pick one up, I bet you can get it for... Uh, you can definitely get it for under $20. Uh, fun to play with, and it's a cool novelty. Now, when it comes to the actual games, I have a bit of a collection. Let's take a quick look at them here. Let's start off with the bread and butter. There's only one yellow game. Of course it is. Pokemon Yellow. It's one of the best games ever made. You can't get Missing No, like the exploiting cheat. Uh, in Cinnabar Island with this, but regardless, you can get all the main starters are really fast, like Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur without trading. So it's good for that if you want to. You can't do that in red and yellow, blue. You can't do that in red and blue. You have to only do that in this one. Fun game. One of my favorites. Came out in 1999. Next one I have Bart Simpson Escapes from Camp Deadly. This one I actually have not played. It just with a name like that of a game, you just have to own it. Bart Simpson Escapes from Camp Deadly. Another Pokemon game, Pokemon the Trading Card Game. This is actually a really fun game. I bought it a, a, twice, this is my second one. I have the first one somewhere, but that one doesn't work super great. Um, the battery has been replaced and it still doesn't always save great, so I bought a second one. Um, yeah, if you like the Pokemon the trading card game, fun game. It's an RPG. Mario Tennis. This is an alright uh, another RPG game. I, I like how the Game Boy Color games for the sports games of Mario in the Game Boy Color era were um, RPG style games. So they were tennis with a little story in it. Another classic Super Mario Land 2. It's my favorite one out of the Super Mario Land games, so uh, I have this one. I used to own the first and also the third one. Lost to time. Dr. Mario. I prefer Tetris, but this is the only puzzle game that I actually have. Go for a slice of two games, Harvest Moon and Harvest Moon 2. RPG farming games that after usually about season two, I'm wondering, why am I playing a farming simulator? They are games that I liked. 
I enjoy them. I I I play as Lost Art Valley. That's a way better. But you can't have that. But you can. You can back in the day. You want you want your fix of farming on the go. This was what you needed. Some Harvest Moon. Friends of Mineral Town is my favorite, which I do have on Game Boy Advance. I'll talk about that later on in life, though. And I have Harvest Moon 2, the Game Boy Color, also another great game. Now, I was a big, I'm a big fan of card games, especially the ones like a Pokemon trading card game, and also Yu-Gi-Oh! So this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. This one's interesting because you can make your own cards that are super powerful and that just beat everybody you face. So it's fun if you like to do arts and crafts and then make them really powerful cards. Okay, and then Bomberman. I got this actually with the Game Boy Advance uh, SP. My friend gave the, this to me it was this. So that's how I got this. I have not played this actually, so I, I can't comment on it. I love Planet Pro Skater on N64. I don't like it so much on Game Boy Color. It's okay. If you uh, had to play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater on the go, be sure, pick this one up. No, pick up the Game Boy Advance one. Game, pick up Game Boy Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Advance 2. That Pro Skater 2 on Advance, that's a way better game. And the bread of the butter is Ghosts and Goblins. Ghosts and Goblins is actually a really hard uh, game. I have it for um, the NES as well, but I have... I... <laughs> the cat purring. I picked this up over five years ago, Ghost and Goblins, and it has risen in price. When I looked up Game Boy games on eBay, uh, when you click the highest to lowest on eBay for Game Boy Color games, this shows up pretty fast uh, at the top of the list of Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color games at uh, Ghost and Goblins. So it caught me off guard that this is a valuable uh, cart that I have. So this is kind of cool. This is one of the reasons why I started, uh, this one right here is the reason why I started buying these. Is this so I can protect this? And I thought, might as well protect all the other ones. Except for 20 Pro Skater 2. Okay, so this is the collection here. You got your puzzle, you got your puzzles, you got your RPGs, you got your puzzles, you got your platforming, you got your sports games, you're good to go. This is games and such, so I thought I'd show some games today. Thank you for joining me, and yes, I will upload again tomorrow. See you tomorrow.